Hi everyone, it's Melissa here from Friendly Crochet Creations. Um, I am in the same hotel as two weeks ago and I wanted to give you an update on my calico flowers. Let me show you the ends over here, okay? These are the beginnings. The beginning circles, okay? Beginning circles. Oh, that one's not so but that's okay. And then here's the end. The half circles. See, I'm almost finished. I haven't tucked in my end yet on that one. Um, I wanted to tell you this one here is the super saver one, and this is what's left of that. It's the super saver color block by Red Heart, and the color name is. Party time, let me show you that. Let's see, we came in a 10 ounce skein instead of like 8 or 16. It was, it was um, 10 ounces. Now, let me tell you what. Um, I accidentally stopped this the first time on this, on the first round of the border. See, it has two rounds of the border here. These two rounds. Um, so what I had to do, because I had already rolled this up in a ball, so I had to re-roll it since I pulled from the inside of the skein. I, um, I ended on yellow. You see, this is the, the color here that I ended on. But, um, so whenever I reattached it, I had to re-roll the ball and attach the, the yellow from the inside. Um, this one I made before the party time. And um, I showed you this one last time. I showed you this one and another one like uh, Karen Cotton Cakes. And I, like I said last time, I don't remember the, the name of this one, but it is really, really pretty. And this one is a new skein. Um, of yarn and I'll show you that after a while but this all here goes with this one and it's wrapped backwards this was the outs oh, this was the inside of, uh, the outside of the skein because the inside of the skein is on the middle of the ball um so if I make a hat or something I'm gonna have to re that too um but this one here it starts with the, the hot pink not quite fuchsia I, I love both of those colors though I love fuchsia um and then it goes to the um the hot pink, or the dark pink, and the baby pink. Looks like it's variegated there, or it's like just mixed in. And so I did the border in that, and then um, before I got to the end, it changed to the solid light pink. So here's on this one side, there's the light pink, and then that skein of yarn goes to, um, after the solid light pink, it goes to a, uh, um, pink and a gray mixture, like a light gray, and then it does the light gray and the dark gray mixture, and then it goes to the dark gray. So, yeah, this has a few solids in there. Let me show you um, the next ones that I'm working on. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Here's the other two that I'm working on right now. Um, this one here, I still have the skein on this one. It says Run Inspirations Karen Cotton Cakes. And I have another ball that I'm going to make of, car, of the cotton cakes, the Karen Cotton Cakes in the car. I'm going to do, and I might even do a latte cake. You know, the fuzzy Karen latte cakes. So you get it from Michael's. This one is actually, I believe this one, the color is actually calico flowers. Yes. This one is actually the calico flowers that they use. Um, in the um, in the tutorials and stuff, and it calls to use a five and a half millimeter hook. As you can see, I got this from Crochet Society, and this says how it started. The first full flower started this way. It's pretty neat, and then every two color, every two halves, it's another. It's another color, and then um, on the second half, 
you can tell where it changes to the, the to the next color. Okay. And on these, um, most of these, on the bigger ones, I'm only doing 20. So it's one full and 19 halves. And on the smaller ones, I'm doing 23, which means a full and then um, 22 halves. And this one's it's on the 22nd. Now on these two, I have not done the border. I love the um, pattern out in the car. And I just now finished um, the last motif on both of these. And it is now 9.04 p.m. here in Texas. And I wanted to show you this. I don't think I showed you this last time. And, the, and um, the, you know, the label. And this is what I have left. You can see where the light pink and the, and the gray come together. And then it's a solid light gray. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. There's a light gray and a dark gray together and then the dark gray. I can at least get maybe one, if not two more scarves out of this. I, I was going to actually do them longer, but I'm not, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, a child might want to wear one of these sometimes. So, um, I just went ahead with the smaller ones and then um, maybe me and my daughter can trade out or something. I decided to keep them. This is called Indica, Indica, I don't know how to say this. It's by Zuzu Hobby. It's 100% cotton. Um, it's 280 grams or 900 meters, 9.88 ounces or 984 yards, and it's super fine yarn. The weight on this one is a one, whereas these here, I believe, yes, those are a four. Those are fours. Um, and it tells you what size hooks to use here. Um, I'm actually using a D hook. I could actually find a smaller hook so I'm using a D 3.25 clover I think my yeah I gotta say I can use a D on my B and C I think I have somewhere else I don't know so it's cover A48 part 3 I don't know what all that means made in Bulgaria I like it I like I like it a lot it is it is cotton yarn and it is small and I don't usually like um crocheting with the smaller yarns especially not the thread but I have done some crochet projects with those before too and um I guess that's it for now um this is what I have left on this one so I'm going to do the two rounds on the border on this and roll it up inside on the inside and then I may re-roll it later when I decide to do the hats um So on the hats, what I would do is I would use the pattern for the full flower first. So that's might be what it looks like. I don't know. There's that one. Turns out the full flower. And as you can see, this one stopped on the it started on the blue and the purple, and it stops on the blue and the purple. So this is pretty neat how these work out sometimes like that. So. I just wanted to let you know that. I'm not trying to recover from the flu. Um, I think New Year's I had a cold. Now I have the flu and everybody just is getting sick. So i um, trying to recover today. I was going to see my kids, but I didn't today. And um, I spent you know, some money on this room. So they want that and trying to recover from my bills for the holidays and trying to stay out of the weather you know by getting me a hotel room and since I don't have electricity at home and I don't know when that's going to happen but I wanted to show you this does anybody remember this what I used to call the man bag because because of the colors the rest of the colors or whatever um this is what I'm storing my my yarn and my scarves in right now the ones that I'm working on and the ones that are done, the lips and that bows. So there's that. And, um, well, I hope I get better and I don't get sick. I don't like being sick twice in a month. You know, I don't hardly ever get sick. And then sometimes it's kind of like that. I get sick kind of often. But um, hopefully I'll recover this time and I won't get sick for a very long time. So I hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll try to get this out to you very, very soon. And, um, 
I hope to bring another one to you very soon. Okay.